All right guys, so it's 8 a.m. in the morning right now. I'm super tired and I really don't wanna to go to the gym right now. But today we're gonna to be talking about why momentum is better than perfection. Now when I say this, I'm not talking about just working out or the physical world. I'm also talking about the online marketing world or the internet world because that's where I spend a lot of my time as well. And I also spend a good amount of my time procrastinating and not getting things done that I know I need to get done because I don't want to go out and put myself out there all the time. So what does that mean? It means that when I'm spending a bunch of time making videos, I don't feel like all of them are 100% perfect. So what I'll do is I'll uh, either completely erase them or just not make the videos in the first place because I feel that they need to be 100% amazing for people to watch them or to get value from them which is not always the case. And I think a lot of other people are under the same impression that in order for them to be uh, good at what they do or, or, or for people to find value in what they do, what they put out there has to be 100% perfect and it's not true. You can simply start putting yourself out there and eventually, maybe at not at first, will you have a really good video that people like or, or content or whatever you're doing, but eventually something will stick and people will start to enjoy what you have and you can add value. Alright, so I got my iced tea that we needed to get from Starbucks. And now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the gym and get our workout in, feel good, and then we're going to start going into work going over SEO projects, I'm going to talk about a little bit more about what you can do to get started with content and momentum even if you don't know how. So we sort of had a change in plans. I just uh, got a call from my girlfriend about 20 minutes ago and uh, her, a cat apparently needs something done for his bladder. He's having like some sort of blockage and he can't pee. So I had to get the dog and we are out on a little walk. Until you hear Bella say hi. Bella! Oh, hey Bella! And we're just gonna go walk her around. Maybe I'll do a little indoor workout, but I have her for a little while now. And uh, looks like she's playing with the ants on the ground. Do a little zoom in so you can see. Yeah, you, can't, you can see the ants that she was playing with. <laughs> she's got them on her face. So we made a quick stop at this river right here. You can see there's some fish jumping out over there. And uh, there's these big birds over here. Let me see if I can zoom in on them. Right there. All right, we're gonna start heading down that road over here. And we're going to uh, head back to the house. And then we're gonna go into work. It's about 10 o'clock. All right, so I just got back home and before I can talk about how to really get the momentum going for content and for your business, what we're, I need to actually do is clean up a little bit. You can see my office is completely trashed right now. So I did some cleaning and in the middle of it, I actually had to get on a call for a client did that and then wound up doing an audit of my website with uh, Chris and Ryan, the two people who work with me. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much maybe like extremely uh, tired. It's like two o'clock. I haven't eaten. 
and I still need to edit this video. So let's just get into the main part of what I was talking about in terms of momentum. So when you're doing something, it's much easier in my opinion to like go and start the process. Like let's say these videos right now, I haven't wanted to do this like at all. It's, except I have wanted to do it uh, in terms of taking these videos and then having and then going and editing them myself and then going up and uploading them and all that stuff. Uh, mainly because it's just so time consuming and I don't know uh, like what is going to happen. Like I, that's the biggest thing is the mystery of not knowing how hard it's going to be to edit these or, or what I'm going to have to do or the time involved or how it's going to look or maybe it won't turn out well or I don't know what I'm doing and I think that's the thing that gets in between a ton of people is is not knowing enough or not thinking you know enough about a certain subject or whatever to be able to go out and, and do what you need to do to get uh, something of quality, right? And the, the, the thing is is that it's better to fail at something. This video might turn out to be terrible. The whole reason why I'm making this whole momentum video really is because I need the momentum right now to just go out and make a terrible video first so that I can go eventually make better videos. So right now, I'm just putting all this together. I just made a bunch of different video clips throughout my day and I was like, well, I'm going to try to make a theme to this, which is the momentum theme, and then see if, you know, at the end I can come up with some sort of good speech around this, which as I said, you know, the, for me, it's much more important to go and fail at something like this and, and not do the editing well or whatever needs to be done. Or maybe this video is terrible and nobody likes it, nobody watches it. But at least then I get the experience to see what it takes to go through this whole process versus just thinking about it forever. Oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. And then not never actually doing it. So another thing is, uh, in terms of like live streaming, which is what I do a ton of, because it's so easy to do that without needing to think about editing or anything, you can use something like a screen recording software uh, called OBS, free screen, uh, free software. Uh, if you look it up, OBS, and then you can find tutorials online. I have one. If you Google like uh, or YouTube OBS 2018 Chase Reiner, you'll be able to find find a tutorial on how to set it up. And uh, you can just get a simple microphone. Let's see if I can point the camera over. This is a Rode mic. Uh, and they're not too expensive. Uh, well, this one actually is. It was like 200. But if you get something like a Blue Yeti, it's I think 100 bucks, and they sound amazing. And um, if you guys want to see like a full setup for everything I have, I'll do a separate video so you guys can watch that. Just let me know in the comments. I'll show you uh, the computer I have, how I made that, the mic stands, everything I bought off Amazon. I'll put like links for everything. Um, but yeah, again, this was sort of an experimental thing to show you guys like if you know I can go out and make a video and not really know what I'm doing in terms of like this stuff you guys definitely can as well the only thing that I'm gonna do behind the scenes is go and edit it and and really I just have a, a Mac I'm just gonna open up something simple like iMovie and if I like editing enough what I'll probably do is maybe get something like uh, Final Cut um, in terms of like Windows software I hate Adobe Premiere so I did try doing editing on like uh, Windows computer and I hated it so um, you know, worst case scenario is if you don't like doing that, right? You actually put yourself in the situation where you go, okay, I'm going to create the momentum to do something that I've always wanted to do, like let's say become a YouTuber or, or, or do like uh, anything. Go and do that thing and then see if you like it. If you like it, then keep doing it, right? If you hate it, which you're going to find a lot of things that you hate or that you fail at and maybe it's not worth to keep going, then just figure out who will do that for you so that you can still get it done. Like let's say I hate editing and like I still want to take videos like this. I still want to do a vlog. Well what I could do is I could take all these videos, upload them to like Google Drive and then have somebody else edit the videos for me. That's another option, right? So there's always somebody who's going to be willing to do stuff that you don't like doing. If you're willing to take the money that you make from something else and pour it into that. So it is important that you make money and it is important that you make money doing something that you like. But if you have a passion or you want to do something on the side that you know might make more money or, or you just want to, you, you want to do, but there's certain parts that you need other people to do in order to get to that point, that is completely fine. Just make sure you're making enough money and doing what you like to be able to fuel that new thing. So I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys uh, like these videos. Let me know if you do in the comments and I'll try to make more like this. And I'll see you guys next time.